Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and the art of the doodle, the next step. So we're just continuing on with my terrible lousy doodles and we're going to focus on this one which really looks like a whole lot of nothing but I'm going to show you how to turn this into a monogram element. That's what I see it as and all the different ways you can do it. So the first thing that I do when I'm creating anything with the swirly is I make myself a template. And what you can do is just save the template. I just made a circle using the circle tool and then I am going to fill it with a uh, ripple stitch. Now some software have spiral stitch which is fantastic. Um, this one doesn't but okay that doesn't work so let's take our spacing. So the spacing is the space between each swirl here. So we want to put it let's try two. See that looks pretty good. Now the color is too light so we want to make it so we can see it. Let's check the size up here. Five by five that might be a little bit small or a little bit large sorry. So we're going to make it smaller but you see how it's perfectly formed. Now I'm not going to be using this circle. I'm just using it as a template. So let's take the spacing down to one and hit enter and now we have a much better, much better swirl. So keeping this in mind and using our template, I'm going to move my template up and to me this is how I make perfectly good swirls because they're kind of hard for me to do. I never get the swirly part looking uh, smooth enough. So we're going to take our, let's see, digitize open shape and I can zoom right in here and I'm just going to trace along here with some right clicks and get it hopefully as close as I can so I can keep the smooth smoothness of it and I'm going to go right here. Not too bad so just maybe one swirl like this a good swirl. We're going to make it a good squir swirl and we want it coming off like this. So this is how we want that done. Hit enter. We have our swirl and I didn't change the color so I'm going to do it right now. We'll make it so you can see it better. Now that's pretty good swirl. So again zoom out and I'm going to take it and this is facing the wrong way. I didn't worry about it while I was doing it but let's flip it so it is the correct way. So I'm just using the mirror key. Now that looks similar to what we're doing. Let's check the size three by two. That's probably a pretty good size. Now once we get our first swirly going on we can play around with how we want it to look. So we can try satin which is awesome. I think that would look good. Uh, let's click on the calligraphy and see how that works. We might have to make it a bit wider for that. Now that gives it a really good look. Uh, except for it's pretty thin here. So why don't we make it a little bit wider? Actually what we can do is we can change, try changing the angle. So let's put this at 90. So that doesn't help either. Okay so right here is the width and we're going to increase that to let's try two. And that looks a little bit better. I guess what it is, these angles are a little bit sharp for the calligraphy. So maybe we could play around and see if we can get it. No, it's just not going to work. So whoops, I don't want to take off auto split. That's important. So let's take off the calligraphy. Okay, so I decided on a delicate, kind of delicate, triple stitch. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to change it so it stitches out the way that we want. And it there's a couple ways of doing this. The first thing is you got to find out where it starts and stops. 
So the start point is right here. So the green means go and I'm going to put it there. So it starts here and it ends here. But it's hard to make a connection if we do it this way. So there's a couple things that you can do to make this work a little better. So it starts here and ends here. And it is right here, backtrack and repeat. So for an open design, we're going to use backtrack for uh, any other like filled closed designs we can use repeat. So that's one option. The next option we could right click and drag which is exactly the same as copy and paste and uh, kind of make a double swirl out of it. Let's make it a little bit smaller and see how good that looks already. It's kind of like an outline. And you can play around with this and get it to look different. Now, on the second one, I'm just going to change the color of it so we can see it easily. So the first one started here and ended here. So we want our turquoise one, and you can leave it the other color if you want. Uh, we want, there we go, I got it perfect, yay. We want the turquoise one to start here and end at the other spot. So we're just going to trade it around and that's perfect. So no jump stitches on this and that's really important to do. So let's change this back to the orange or let's change the orange to the turquoise. So now we have a really nice swirl. So you can save this as a motif. You can save it as an element because it's set up really nicely. Uh, and you can use motif stamp for it right here, motif stamp. And then you can just stamp out the um, swirlies that you want. So let's take this right click, which is the same as a copy and paste. And let's, we want to flip this so it looks better. Double swirlies like that is not good. So mirror. And uh, look what we got going on here. Now, that is kind of pretty. I like it. So we want to work a little bit with this kind of mess right here. So let's go into our reshape. And we don't want to change the start and stop points, but we want to bring everything into, you know, kind of a nicer finish here. And this will make it look much better. Now you don't want to overlap everything, but if you get a nice taper like this, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So that was easy. Now if we want to add smaller swirls, we want to get the first one because it started here and ended there. And that's what we want. So we're going to move this. We're going to make it smaller. And then we could probably flip it around or we could just change the angle. Right up here is the left 15 degrees and that just turns it and it makes it kind of nice like that. Now you don't have to add any other swirls if you don't want to. Let's not and we'll add maybe a shape here or some circles. So we ended up here so we want to keep going. So let's find a shape and we can add it. So maybe a heart, maybe a little heart and some circles, or we could do some candle wicking. It's all pretty easy to do. So a little heart and I do want that filled in. I always forget in Hatch to pick that first and we change the color to turquoise and you can just embellish it however you want, which is kind of fun. Now you'll see this will turn out really well. You'll be so surprised. Uh, and again, I forgot to pick the color. I always do. So there it is. There it is. So look like this and whoops. But if you do that, I right clicked and I dragged just to undo. I meant to right click on that. I had the wrong one selected. Oh, and I did it again. So we want to undo that. That's fine. So even like that, let's look. 
it's awful cute isn't it you could also put an element here so let's take the heart and let's make it a little bit smaller oh that might be too small that's not going to work we might have to change the angle of that now you can add more color changes if you want i mean it's perfectly fine I kind of like that here. Another thing you could do is put it here. You'd have to make some changes, but doesn't that look cute? Let's do that, um, and then we could figure out how to set it up in another video. So that's pretty good for elements. So I'm going to select this, and you can uh, group it, I guess, to make it easier. Then we won't uh, keep sliding pieces out of the way like I was doing. And then I'm going to right click. So that's a copy and paste. And then I'm going to flip it. So mirror. And there we go. Isn't that awesome? So what size are we looking at here? five by five so that's getting quite big so let's make it a little bit smaller and see how everything looks you can't just you know close everything make it smaller and expect it to work but that worked pretty well that's beautiful in my opinion so let's add a fancy letter so lettering and monogram i know hatch has a ton of stuff but this is like an original so let's do the letter uh, B for brown. And uh, that's probably not the font I'm going to use. That doesn't look quite right. That is not what we're looking for. I may change the color. So turquoise and purple we found looks really good. So we do want to change our font. So let's click the drop down and i think there's a way to make it bigger but something like this would work and uh you could make adjustments as you see fit now watch this you can make this a little thinner and squish it a little bit which doesn't look bad at all look how beautiful that is so let's undo that because i kind of like it the way it was and we could make the letter taller bigger change the font you can add swirlies to your font there's so many things that you can do so let me find something art block Okay, so I picked the font that I liked. It's not swirly, but that's okay because our swirls are swirly. And uh, this is just a built-in font, and I quite like it. And I think that would work really well. Now, you could also play around with the shape of your lettering. Um, monograms, you can do whatever you want with them. It's kind of awesome. A little bit more difficult with just one but we can make it work. We can do something like that. And that changes the whole entire font. And what that does too is that gives me the length here, the height, which works out really well because I wanted uh, everything to fit in. I decided I really like this font. So you can go ahead and save your elements. You can change and save your creations however you want. Maybe you want to take a heart and put it in between the bees sort of thing. Or maybe you just want it plain with the, the double swirlies like this in a triple stitch. I think it looks fantastic. And... I made this beautiful design, uh, an original design from my crappy little doodle. Now I didn't even do the whole doodle, but it kind of works. So hopefully you guys are doodling. I haven't seen any homework yet, but maybe doing a monogram will inspire you guys to doodle away. And remember the easiest way to make uh, swirly and make it look 
perfect like this is doing a template for yourself and you can make this into a motif it wouldn't work as a motif fill but then you could use it as a stamp and easily have it so there you go that is doodle number two a monogram i guess this is video number three though don't want to get anyone confused um, a monogram and I think it looks really cute I would maybe take off some of the hearts but you stitch this out it's original and it's awesome so thanks everyone for watching don't forget to get doodling and uh, let me see your homework and I'll see you guys in the next video bye